from the soul with it. What's going on everybody, The Island Race coming to you live with yet another video. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alert of future content coming to you, Nick. <laughs> so I'd like to talk to y'all about Cardi B. So apparently she is receiving a lot of flack. A lot of criticism for having sex on Instagram Live with her fiance, air quote, fiance, quit, what's his name? Offset, the guy from the Migos, one of the rappers from the Migos. And it's all coming from when this whole leaked footage came out of his iCloud being hacked and the female, you know, it was all to prove a point that. They were not upset about it, you know, that they weren't worried about the footage that was leaked. And it was just so many people. I, I said that she would respond. I didn't know that she would, you know, stoop that low to respond. But, you know, that's what she did. And she said something about, I mean, I don't think she was really having sex. You know, my personal opinion, I don't think she was really having sex on Instagram Live. I think she just did that just to show people that she wasn't really tripping. But it does set a bad example, you know, for the, there's a lot of young girls who have Instagrams now that really look up to her. And I'm not saying that she has to be, oh yeah, I have to be like that all the time, but you know, and, and be professional all the time. But at the same time, I just felt like it was other ways she could have, you know, I know that she's trying to get views and everything and you know she has a, a song out right now she has a, a single that she's pushing so she's doing whatever she can to get views i mean she didn't have to do that for bodak yellow so i think it all plays a major key into just staying relevant you know and trying to keep her name out there you know as Nicki minaj is a phenomenal rapper and i hate to try to compare the two but Nicki minaj is a phenomenal rapper but you could tell when an artist buzz isn't as it used to be to where people aren't checking for you because you start to do things to where you're practically trying to, you're, you're desperate for attention. You're doing things like you're coming out showing your boobs in a crowd, twerking in front of a crowd, and you're just begging for attention. Um, I think that she's going to be Cardi B is going to be her own downfall. You know, she seems like a person who's very emotional, uh, very passionate to where she can't, certain things get to her. She has to say something. You know, she responds to things that don't need to be responded to. Like she has to give it light, you know, and I think that if she was a little more reserved and, you know, carried herself in a different way, you know, if she could separate personal from business, I think that her career will last a lot longer. But I think that that would be her downfall, the fact that she gets in her feelings about a lot of things and it controls her to the point that she says things on Instagram, Twitter. When she replies, you know, it's showing that these people are getting to you. And this these things must have some truth to it in order for you to respond. I seen where Offset said that, you know, he would pretty much, just it would be sending out copyright strikes or he would be suing or something if somebody uploaded the footage of them um, having intercourse on Instagram Live. And the reason I believe that he said that is because he doesn't want to be, after he did it, he thought about it. and Or somebody around him told him, hey, you shouldn't have did that. Like, you shouldn't have did it. So he wants to clean up his image because it makes him look bad. Like, it really makes him look bad. To a lot of ignorant people, it may be cool. A lot of ignorant people be like, you know, that's that's the a crowd that they're attracting. So a lot of those people would be, you know, cool with that. But it's a lot of other people that you don't see, like, that support them, that's probably on a, a professional level, that, that support them behind the scenes, that would not want to work with them possibly because that 
gives them it's 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 looked at as very unprofessional. And it makes them it makes them look bad to where they'd be like, man, I don't I don't approve of that. I don't like that. That's that's just that's just foul. Like that's just wrong to be going out here doing that. You got a lot of parents that buy their children, you know, their child the Migos music. So just imagine your child like, hey mom, like I want to buy that that new offset that new offset song. I love it. I, I really need that song. I like it. And then she goes to search offset and which song he's talking about and look at it. And then in the headlines you see offset on Instagram Live doing things with Cardi B. And she look at that. And she say, oh no, I'm not buying you this. You see what I'm saying? And some things uh, like could be the clean version, or just anything. You know, it just it doesn't seem it doesn't. Like the perception just rubs off the, a bad way. So he's trying to, you know, keep that image clean as much as he can. I mean, he still has that street edge to him, but he still wants to keep that clean edge of just a little bit. Because that's, you know, that's that's pretty much what you got. That's all you all you have really to survive on, you know, because the, the streets really don't buy music like that. To be honest, like the hood don't really buy albums like that. They just, they support the mixtapes. His parents, you know, could be watching his family. Other people could be watching that and could feel like, you know, could go on the internet, his daughter or, you know, his child could go in there and see his dad or her dad up there doing things, you know, on the internet. She said, I was fully clothed. I guess she was supposed to be saying I was fully clothed. But she said, I was fully clothed on live. I was not effing on live. Y'all can't be slow. That slow. And well, first of all, you don't have to have all your clothes on to be, you know, having sex. You know, people be like, oh man, you have to congratulate her. You know, you have to respect her hustle. And no, you don't. I don't, you don't have to respect everybody's hustle. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion just because that's just like somebody saying, yeah, he robbed he robbed the store and he robbed all these people just to get a hundred million dollars or he, he robbed this place to get a thousand dollars for his kids to eat and all this other stuff. I'm supposed to respect that person. That's that's basically what you're saying. You know, I should respect everybody's hustle is what a person is, is telling me just because she slide she was sliding down the pole. I should respect that or I should respect her hustle. No, you know, she's going to be her own downfall. I don't think that offset. I don't think that, you know, no one around her is going to stop her but herself. You know, she's going to be the one because I think that people are going to get tired of her behavior after a certain while. Like, I think that, you know, nobody can say anything, you know, as much as people critique her and say she's unfit for the newer generation or she's a bad person and, you know, say all these negative things about it. No matter what you say, you know, that person, you know, a person exposed themselves, you know, after a while. And then people will get tired of it. And I said that, you know, I used to say little certain things about certain artists in the past. You know, but after a while, and people used to give me a lot of flack for it, and used to criticize me a lot for saying these things, but I was speaking from the heart, and I felt like it's real. And and it take a time for people to open up their eyes and to actually see things for themselves, because they're so caught up. It's like, it's similar to when uh, you try to tell your, your sister or your brother, hey, you should leave her alone, because, you know, this is just an analogy. It's like telling your sister or your brother, hey, you need to leave him alone, bro, like, he not good for you, you know, he's trying, he's cheating with this person, he's with that person, that person like, nah, bro, like, you can't tell me that, like, you know, whatever, you just hating, because you ain't got no girl, or Woody, Woody, you trying to inform, you trying to help that person, but that person don't want to listen, so, you got to let that person make their, their own mistakes, and I think that that's what's going to happen, and then people finally realize, like, damn, man, you was right, like, you was right about this. You was right about that. I should have listened to you. I shouldn't have messed with her. Or, you know, she she is just a, you know, a thought that wants attention. She does like this, you know. And once the, they stop looking at things from a fan perspective, then they say, oh, she is acting like a thought. She's just doing things for attention, you know. And I don't think, you look at artists like Young Thug, and I'm going to end it on this note. You look at artists like Young Thug, who wear these weird outfits and wear things simply for attention, then you finally look, and now he's not really getting that same attention, that same crave 
that it used to be. Now it's just like, oh, he's just doing, you know, who cares? Now I see what he's doing. But anyway, y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out. Look, straight from the soul with it.